Hey I'm Max and welcome to my RPG game devlog. In this video I will be making the AI for the enemies so they can move around, chase the player and attack the player. I will also add details like particles, screen shake and damage labels when you hit the enemy and make the player frames display the auras that the player currently has and how long they have left. Before we start I don't want to annoy you like every YouTuber does but I'm very new to YouTube and barely anyone who watches my videos is actually subscribed. I'm trying to get out of the bottom of YouTube so just a little sub or like would help me. Thanks a lot. So the first thing I did was set up the base for the mobs AI which is to move to a random location, wait for a bit and then move again. At this point the mobs were a lot more artificial than intelligent. They won't even turn towards where they're moving or do any animation. Ugh, oh, I really gotta tell them how to do everything, right? So I made them rotate in the direction where they're moving and also added in animation blueprints for the mobs that I had walking animations done. I didn't do all of them yet. So they would switch between idle and walk when they started moving and when they stopped. Next, I made it so if the player was close enough to the mob and in front of it, the mob would see the player and start chasing him. I also made the hostile mobs attack the player once they got close enough to him. For now I made every enemy hostile to the player and attack in melee range but some mobs later will attack from another range with projectiles and some mobs will even be passive or only be aggressive after they've been hit. That's actually the next thing I did so for example this eye monster and zombie will only attack you once you attack them. If you never attack them they won't attack you. And I also made it so if you don't attack them for a few seconds, they stop being angry at you and stop chasing you. Next, I wanted to implement a different rage for different mobs and different attack modes such as projectiles or melee for some mobs. My first try at projectiles was interesting. I also wanted to have the option to make the projectile follow the player to give it a guaranteed hit. The reason for that is that I want the player to take damage during fights. This way this will give a reason to use spells like heals and also to do things later such as eat food to regenerate and also make it so if you're fighting someone that's higher level than you or higher level enemies you can't just dodge everything and take no damage. So I got the tracking and damage of projectiles to work so now they will track up to the player and when they hit you they do damage. Next I wanted to fix a bug that had been annoying me for a while. And that bug is that when the player does an AoE damage spell, if an enemy is behind another enemy, it doesn't get hit. It makes sense in the real world that if something is in front of you, like another enemy is in front of you, then the one behind doesn't get hit. But in a game, AoE spells usually hit everything within the area. So to fix this, I simply change the damage prevention channel to something other than the mobs, so they wouldn't be considered as something blocking the damage. Now every enemy gets damaged when close to the player during an AoE spell, even if they are behind other enemies. Then I added a bit of randomness to the combat system with critical hits. Every attack has a chance to go critical and do 50% more damage. I also wanted to improve the feeling of combat like the combat juice, because hitting enemy right now doesn't give you any feedback and it's pretty boring. I started by adding some particles flying from the enemy when you hit it. Then I tried adding some knockback but it didn't go that well and I ended up deciding not to do it because I thought it didn't really fit the style of the game. Instead I decided to go with the screen shakes. My first screen shake was just a little too strong but I adjusted the values and got it looking right. It really does make the hits feel a lot better. Next I made the active auras display under the player and implemented my two aura spells. My first is called Enrage. When used it restores all of your energy and gives you a 100% crit chance and 20% more damage for 10 seconds. It makes you very powerful. For now the cooldown is 30 seconds but I will probably increase it to something like 2 minutes because I don't want the user to use it too often. My second one is called Block and it simply reduces the damage you take by 50% for 15 seconds. 
I felt that it was bad to not know how long is left to an effect, so I added a timer under each effect. I still don't really like how they are positioned, but I'll change that later. Now I was going to add one of the most important thing in an RPG game, damage labels. I simply made it so when a mob got hit, a label with the damage amount spawned on top of it and started flying up and fading out to give some space to the next numbers. It really feels good to see how much damage you're actually doing, like seeing the numbers pop up on the screen is very satisfying. You can see when you get a critical hit and you can see for example when you activate Enrage how much more damage you're doing. And here we are for now, the combat system is pretty much done, all that's left to do is to make the deaths of mobs and maybe also the player. And obviously add some mobs and spells so it's not just two mobs and a few spells. Then we can start working on the items, equipping different armor, that changes stats, uh, levels, mounting on horses and whatever adding some skills, a map, a bunch of things we have to add. So stay tuned by subscribing if you want to see more.